Hi everyone. Do you know about the Psyche mission of NASA? Recently, NASA has announced that it is going to send a Psyche mission to one of the asteroids in the belt between Mars and Jupiter. So, this is the second mission of NASA to an asteroid. Can you tell me what other mission has been sent to asteroid by NASA in the recent times? So, today we are going to talk about this asteroid mission of NASA and basically there is a private space agency of Elon Musk. You might be aware about SpaceX. So, this SpaceX is going to launch one of the mission of NASA that is Psyche mission. And SpaceX, it will be using its Falcon 9 heavy, Falcon heavy launch vehicle in order to launch this Psyche mission. It is going to be launched on 12th of October in this month. Okay. So, we are going to talk about what exactly this Psyche mission is all about. We are going to see that what are its uh, applications or what are its objective. Okay. So, see, but before that, there is one thing. We have to also understand about one of the very important launch vehicles in the space sector. You might be aware about the PSLV and GSLV, the Polar Synchronous Launch Vehicles and Geosynchronous Launch Vehicles. Similarly, the SpaceX, which is a private company, it is also having a Falcon Heavy Launch Vehicle. And this is considered as one of the most powerful launch vehicles in the space sector. Let us see that. What are its capabilities? Okay. Like if we talk about, it is, it is capable of launching a payload of up to 63,800 kg in the low earth orbit. Okay. In the low earth orbit, it is capable of launching a payload of up to 63,800 kg. And if we talk about the geotransfer orbit, it is capable to launch a payload of around 26,700 kg. Okay. Even it is capable of sending a payload to Mars and the weight can be as high as 16,800 kg. Okay. So, it is considered as one of the most powerful launch vehicle in the space sector. But now, let us return back to the Psyche mission. Let us see that what is this Psyche mission all about. Basically, Psyche is also an asteroid. It is the name of the asteroid where this mission has been proposed. Okay. It, has been, it has been like uh, proposed by the Arizona University of United States. Okay. So, here it is going to go on this asteroid. And this asteroid is very much uh, unique in nature that it is believed to be a very rich asteroid or a very rich uh, celestial body in terms of metal. Normally, if we look at the celestial bodies, mostly they are made up of uh, gases or they are made up of rocks. But this asteroid is believed to be made up of metals. So, that set it apart from many of the other celestial bodies in our vicinity. Okay. And it is like believed. Now, it appears that maybe this asteroid which we are talking about, the Psyche asteroid, it may be the exposed iron, nickel and iron core of a early planet okay the planet symbols or the proto planets which are there okay so it is believed that maybe there was a planet earlier and its core portion was there which is made up of nickel and iron and it is this asteroid it's just the core portion of that planet okay so now see what is the benefit of this it can help us in understanding the nature of the core of the planets if we talk about the earth, we are not able to di like directly observe the core of our earth or any other planet in the solar system. Okay. But this is going to give us an opportunity where we can look into the core portion of this. Maybe if it is the core portion, then we, maybe we would be able to analyze it. Okay. So, that is one of the very important aspects of this mission. Now, there is one term which you might have heard from time to time. There is one term called as planetesimals. Okay. So, what are these planetesimals? Okay. Basically, it is an object which may have been formed due to dust, rock or other materials. Okay. Like, they can be of very small size also or they can be of several kilometers also. Okay. 
and it is believed that they are the small objects which has led to the formation of planets. Okay. So, it is believed that they have led to the formation of the planets. Okay. So, they are planet symbols. Okay. Then, if we talk about this uh, psych mission, when it is going to reach on the surface of psych or when it is going to reach near the orbit of this psych. Basically, it is believed that it takes around 31 minutes for the light to reach there. It is something 500 million kilometers away from the surface of Earth. And it takes lights about 31 minutes to reach on the surface of this asteroid, which is Psyche. NASA believes that it is going to take around 6 years in order to reach, on, reach to this asteroid Psyche. So, it is going to take around 6 years. Now, earlier the NASA was trying to send this mission on 5th of October itself, but then it got delayed by almost one week and now it is going to be launched on 12th of October. Okay. So, see, what are the goals or what are the mission objectives of this? The first mission objective is to understand an unexplored building block of planet formation. Basically, we have seen that it is believed by NASA or other space agencies or other astronomers that it may be made up of nickel and iron and due to which it can offer us an opportunity to read about the like uh, these core materials or the basic building, blo building blocks of planet formation. Okay. It is also going to help us to look into the terrestrial planets like Earth we cannot directly examine the Earth's core, but then it is going us, maybe if it is made up of core, if it is made up of core of some planet, then it is going to offer us that opportunity that we can look into it. Okay. And we are going to explore a new world itself. Like I told you in the beginning, most of the objects which are around us, they are either made up of rocks or ice. Okay. But then this is something which is made up of metal. So, we are going to explore a new world altogether by exploring this psych asteroid. Okay. Now, there is one more thing which NASA aims to do by this mission. Basically, it is also going to test its deep space optical communication system. Now, the asteroids you can see, they are 500 million kilometers away. Normally, our communication system is based on the radio waves. But here, the communication is going to be done through near infrared waves. The ones which are having, like, uh, can say that the ones which are having higher frequency than the radio waves. So, we are going to use, the NASA is going to use near infrared waves in order to communicate between that space probe and the center on the Earth also. So, it is going to check into deep space optical communication system. Okay. Now, this technology, it is going to encode the data in terms of photons and this is where we can start our communication in terms of optical communication. You might have heard about the concepts of Li-Fi. Okay. So, in the similar manner, here we are trying to check this deep space optical communication. And the benefit is that the optical method or the optical communication methods can transfer data at a higher speed in comparison to the radio waves. Okay. So, this is also one thing which NASA aims to test through this psych mission. Now, I have already asked you one question in the beginning. Can you tell me what was another mission of NASA to any such asteroid in the recent times, in the recent past? Okay. So, thank you very much for watching this. Do share it with your friends and the co-aspirants. Thank you very much. All the best.